Hi everyone, welcome back on Study Room. So in this video, we will discuss questions um, from your textbook and we will find out what are their answers. So as we have uh, studied the chapter, it won't be very difficult for us to find out, but let's start. Question number one, what are the controls affecting the climate of India? Very important question. We have briefly discussed each and every control that affects the climate. Uh, there are total six controls that affects the climate. Uh, those are, magically, we have answers. So, these are total six controls, latitude, altitude, pressure and wind, ocean currents, distance from sea and relief features. Okay, so these are basically six major controls affecting climate of India. Next, question number two. Why does India have monsoon type of climate? Very important question. Why do you think India have monsoon type of climate? Because uh, why do we call it monsoon type? First, let me explain that. So, um, it rains all over India. Okay. Uh, it depends upon um, how much centimeter it rains. It depends upon if the rain is very heavy or very low. But it does rain all over the India at some point of um, time in 12 months okay so that's why India is known as monsoon type climate but why what is the reason for it okay so here's my pro advice as well whenever you feel difficult um, in learning an answer don't cramp it first of all try to understand it by drawing images so the most easy way to learn geography is to draw uh, uh, images because the images um, stay in your head forever okay so now let's find out why, why does India have monsoon type of climate. India's monsoon type of climate is characterized by seasonal pattern. Very important first. So there is seasonal pattern in our country that we are all aware of. So uh, these seasonal pattern uh, leads to changes in weather. Okay, This seasonal pattern leads to changes in weather. Obviously one season, the weather of one season will be different from weather of another season. Right? So, that is why there will be change um, in weather when the seasons change, okay. And these changes are pretty much noticeable, right. We can see changes in the weather, um, whether it's raining, whether it's sunny, whether it's extremely uh, rainfall or snowfall, whatever. So, these changes are extreme, uh, like properly noticeable, especially in interior um, parts of our country, okay. So, these changes are noticeable in all over the region. Now, come to the second half of it. Why it is monsoon type climate? Another thing is that in the coastal areas, India coast, Indian uh, coastal area does not experience uh, much rainfall. But as we have studied that the belts, uh, belt keep on changing in direction, which means that uh, there is variation in the rainfall pattern as well. Okay, for example, if the Western Ghat or um, areas to the east are heavily rainfall, it's possible that the the center part did not rain. Why? Because this is also rain shadow area. Remember? So, yeah. The, so, there are obviously uh, changes in variations in the rainfall pattern as well. That is why we retreat. Uh, we have four uh, seasons in particular. One is cold, hot, advancing monsoon and retreating monsoon. Advancing monsoon means when the monsoon has started and it heavily rails in some area. And retreating monsoon is basically withdrawal of monsoon. Now, withdrawal of monsoon does not mean that uh, it will be rainy today and tomorrow it will not rain because it's withdrawal of monsoon. No, it does not work like that. Retreating monsoon uh, starts by uh, mid of September and it uh, by by September, uh, you know, before going, before completely uh, going from our country, monsoon... Uh, uh, you know, do very heavily rainfall in some regions, okay. So, retreating monsoon are, uh, have regional variations as well, okay. So, that is why majorly the uh, uh, Indian climate is monsoon type, okay. Let, let's move to our next question, which is question number three. Which part of India experiences the highest uh, diurnal range of temperature and why? Okay, let's understand this word first, diurnal. So, diurnal meaning is very, very simple. It means that daylight, okay. So, um, so in the daylight, which state, okay, which part of India experience highest range of temperature and why? 
um, very simple. The answer is very very simple. Tha desert. Okay, we are all aware how hot it can get. So Tha desert experienced the highest diurnal range in uh, temperature, and why? Because Tha desert uh, um, comes uh, as interior part of uh, of India. Okay, an interior part of India experienced contrast temperature. Okay, they experience contrast. They experience contrast in high temperature. That is why the Thar Desert uh, during the day is very very hot. Okay. Next, question number four is which winds accounts for rainfall along the Malabar coast? Very simple, surface winds. Okay. Surface winds. accounts for rainfall along the malabar coast okay next is question number 5 what are jet streams and how do they affect the climate of india okay to make you understand this let's draw something now we all understand the concept of winds blowing right winds blow in all over the earth they travel um to all over the places now do you think they go out of the earth in space no that's not possible right so earth's next layer is troposphere okay which is just outside the earth's surface so this troposphere has altitude of around 12000 um i should write in numbers just a minute okay its altitude is around 12000 meters okay um what happens in troposphere basically so for example wind are coming from westerly direction right what do you think winds are coming 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 and what will happen do you think they will meet they will meet in equator and then uh and then move ahead to troposphere no that's not possible right as we have um i have i have explained this earlier as well so what happened whenever these winds are coming they move to 5 degree started moving from 5 degree and at some point in troposphere they create this pressure okay this pressure is a narrow belt okay this pressure is nothing but a narrow belt that has been created which we call as jet streams okay now these winds are coming at a very very high force okay which means um that they are very very fast and the pressure created is also very very fast they are usually 110 ki kilometer per hour and in summer in summer they can also reach to 184 kilometer per hour so similarly number of jet streams are coming regularly uh, uh, number of winds are coming regularly and forming a jet stream in this area okay um, in this narrow belt which we call as jet stream now they have been uh, they made contrast which means they uh, uh, they basically touch to a uh, troposphere edge and then move back uh, into earth okay so when they move back they are mostly uh, go to mid latitude area mid latitude and subtropical okay so when they move back they move to subtropical region and or mid latitude all right so Uh, this is jet stream and uh, this is how they affect the climate okay now how do they affect the climate of india they affect the climate of india because they uh, because jet stream make a contrast in uh, mid latitude and subtropical and india lies in subtropical region okay that is why that is how they uh, how it affects india next question define monsoon monsoon what do you understand by break in monsoon okay very simple now let's find out in detail how do they affect the climate in india okay so now we got it that the the winds contrasting are coming towards the tropical region they enter in india through north side of the himalayas okay so to the northern uh, sorry to the south side of himalayas okay to the southern side of uh, himalayas now what is happening in westerly uh, cyclones create disturbance uh, which leads uh, these westerly disturbances leads to winds entering in the north of himalayas these winds which are blowing uh, to, from the uh, south 
uh, they are not uh, in summers okay they are not in summers um, and the cyclonic disturbance uh, uh, leads to a westerly flow so these westerly cyclonic disturbance leads to westerly flow and these uh, winds blow from the uh, from the north region which is apparent to which is very very apparent to sun okay which caused the major reason of himalayas uh, uh, being very very cold now these easterly winds are also coming to the peninsular um, side of india okay this is called as a uh, easterly uh, jet stream okay this is called easterly jet streams which are over around 14 degree uh, north okay and they are coming to from equator uh, and these are mostly in uh, summers okay so that's why it's quite hot in this area during the summers all right now next question is define monsoon and what do you understand by break in monsoon okay let's get back to our diagrams to understand this so monsoon is very very simple monsoon oh, i'm sorry monsoon is basically reversal of winds uh, during a year okay so uh, a reversal of winds during a year for how whatever reason this is what we call monsoon okay a reversal of winds um during a year now what is break in monsoon break in monsoon is very very simple um it sometimes uh, splits um in parts of dry and wet areas means whenever the, there is course of monsoon there are some duration or some time when the uh, rain takes interval and takes the break and comes at a point and did not come um, and take a break due to the reversal of winds and that point when the wind is not coming and takes the break is called the break in the monsoon basically uh, you can say it as rainfall is taking a rest uh, uh, for some reason and the reason is reversal in the winds okay next question is question number 7 Question number seven is, why is the monsoon considered a flying bond? It is considered as flying bond because despite of great moderating um, uh, influence, there are variations, there are variations in climate, okay? As we see, this area does not rain and this area has sometimes um, heavy, uh, heavy rain, heavy precipitation. Nevertheless, uh, the change in the climate, um, uh, uh, nevertheless, the Indian subcontinent experience a very heavy uh, rain of uh, uh, precipitation is a uh, must in a area. Due to what is the reason? The seasonal alteration of wind and the change in the weather and the change uh, in the direction of the wind, it leads to monsoon um, sometime or other happening be it late be it early but uh, monsoon will occur in our country okay so this is and monsoon is being highly celebrated as festival in our country because it is a source of water for uh, for many things it it our farmers in india are dependent upon monsoon for irrigation okay so for irrigation they are only dependent upon monsoon Okay, so delay in monsoon affect them, early uh, coming of monsoon also affect them. That's why monsoon is uh, considered as uniform, unifying uh, bond that um, it will eventually be, uh, be in our country. Okay, so that is why it is considered as unifying bond because we celebrate monsoon as, monsoon as festival too. Okay, so with this we end our uh, question round.